Hello, today we're going to talk about how to make mashed sweet potatoes, um, which is a great holiday dish you can make for your family or yourself. Um, it's actually something you could pull off in your dorm room with microwaving the potatoes. The recipe that we have written for you that you can get online actually boils the potatoes on the stovetop, but they can be cooked in water in a microwave. You can make that substitution if you want to try and do it in your dorm. The only thing that's been done off camera is we have peeled the potatoes and cooked them. Um, so they're already cooked and hot. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the butter. Um, we've got about a pound and a quarter of sweet potatoes here. We're going to add two ounces of butter to that. Um, and then the rest of the ingredients are nutmeg, cinnamon, brown sugar, salt and pepper. Um, and we're going to add all those to this. Um, and so that we can work on mashing the sweet potatoes and mixing all of this together. The first thing I'm going to do is blend the potatoes up with the butter to try and help the, the butter melt from the heat of the sweet potatoes um, where they've been pulled out. Um, the recipe also is written to use a blender or a mixer, I'm sorry, with a paddle attached to it and a bowl. Um, I'm doing this by hand because it is a fairly small batch. It's the same size as the batch written for you on the recipe on the website. Um, if you have a larger family, you're going to maybe want to double or even triple this depending on how many people you've got. So we've got two ounces of butter in there. We're going to put in a teaspoon of both nutmeg and cinnamon. Then we're going to add to that three tablespoons of brown sugar. The brown sugar, when you scoop it, you want to pack it um, to measure it. Pack it against the side um, and make sure it's packed down and full. If you do it loose, you won't get enough. Then we're going to do a half a teaspoon of both uh, salt and pepper. Alrighty, and then we're going to incorporate all that together. The butter's about melted here, and there from being with the uh, the hot potatoes. Um, if you're doing this with a mixer, obviously you won't have all this to, to do. You'll just need to turn the mixer on and off as you add and then let it go pretty slow till you get the potatoes softened up um, and mashed. And then you can run it at high speed to make them a little fluffier when you get done. Um, we're going to emulate that here with, by hand here in just a second after we kind of get them mashed up. If you like your potatoes softer, um, you could add a little bit of hot milk to these to thin them a little. Um, if you like your potatoes pretty thick like these are going to be, then you'll be just fine with the way they are. And there you go. Once you get your spice and everything incorporated in those, you've got mashed sweet potatoes. Now again, if you've got very many people eating, um, you're probably going to want to go to a bigger quantity than that. But that's the, that's the color that you're going to have. And if you want a finer consistency or you want them softer, you can add a little uh, more butter or you can add some more milk to it. So the do heat the milk a little so it doesn't cool your potatoes down and make them stiffer on you again. And that gives you your mashed sweet potatoes.